Today we're gonna talk about a new Blender add-on called Simply Material, which is an add-on developed by the developer behind some of the most popular Blender add-ons such as Simply Cloth, Simply Concept, Simply Wrap, and now it is time for Simply Material. The add-on has a potential to be a great cloth and fabric texturing tool for Blender. It allows you to easily create professional materials for a wide range of applications, from fashion design to 3D game characters and even architectural visualization. The add-on has a really simple and intuitive user interface, making creating textures for clothing and fabric in general really easy to do. You don't even need to be able to use the node editor. Everything is handled through the add-on interface, which is fantastic. So this can be used by anyone, and especially people who don't like to fiddle around with the node editor too much. From what I have seen, the add-on is a comprehensive and extensive system to create materials and it covers just about every aspect of material building process that you might need. Starting from the base, mirror, and overlay textures, to substance scattering parameters, dirt, tearing, glitter, hair, and everything else in between. Just the fact that you can add lights to your clothes textures should give you an idea of how extensive the system is really is. So the way you build your materials using Simply Cloth is of course first by installing the add-on. It comes in multiple versions. There is the standard version for $33 going up to $222 for the full commercial version, which includes all the texture packs and the ability to resell and edit everything created using the add-on. Of course, the prices are subject to change. They can go up and down depending on what the developer sees fit. So once the add-on is installed, Creating materials is fairly simple. Both seasoned artists or complete beginners can get advantage of its workflow. To create a new material, it is better to make sure that your mesh is UV map first, and then click on the Big Create Simply Material button, and this will apply a basic material to your object. The Simply Material workflow is divided into three sections. First, the base, micro, overlay, and additional textures. You can access these maps by clicking on the button with the same name from the add-ons window. This will expand texture options, revealing all the different maps you can enable or disable using the eye icon on the left. You can also select a different map if you choose to do so. And for each of the maps, you can change both the scale and the intensity through their corresponding sliders. Most of these fields are self-explanatory, but we will go through all of them quickly. So for the base texture, it is just the main texture pattern of the material. The micro texture is more of a fine detail texture, and this could be helpful if you are gonna make a close-up shot. Overlay texture can be used for all the wrinkles, folds, and noise. The additional image textures are for decals like logos or something that you want to overlay over your cloth. Next is the UI element selection. Here you can change the color, roughness, normal, and even the alpha channel of the material, which you can control using the color ramp. Finally, you have the extra shading tab where you can get easy access to all the different shader parameters like substance scattering, sheen and for now, emission, glitter effect, hair in addition to fizzles, which is a geometry node feature that allows you to add hair to your cloth. There is also velvet, wearing, dispersion and holographic, and back face or inside materials, and each of these offer a unique parameter to play around with and to help you exactly what you need. Now, of course, if you are comfortable with the node editor, you can obviously jump there and see the full extent of the node tree and adjust the parameters from there. But then again, everything you need is available right from the add-on window. So this makes it very easy. And finally, there is a texture exporter, simple material pack and easy to use texture bake tool, which allows you to easily select textures that you want to bake and save them in one click. So if you like what you see, and you want to learn more about Simply Cloth, you will find the necessary links in the description. Also, the developer created a one hour video breakdown showing you how to use the add on in detail. If you are new here, please subscribe to this channel to keep yourself updated with the latest news of the CG industry. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.